Our top story on KCAL 9, a cruise ship returns back home to Long Beach after a dream vacation became a nightmare for 22 passengers. They were hijacked by armed robbers during a shore excursion. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar is live at the Port of Long Beach this morning for us. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Serene. We finally saw one of those victims get off the ship, an elderly woman. She was very upset. She did not want to talk to us. Behind me, you could see the splendor. It pulled into port around 530 this morning on the bridge. You can see all the passengers getting off of the ship. We did talk to some passengers who got firsthand accounts of the violence. One woman telling us it was all over in under three minutes. Now we'll show you some video of the cruise ship as it arrived this morning in Long Beach. On Thursday, 22 passengers were on a bus returning to the ship after a guided nature trail excursion in Puerto Vallarta. A gang of masked assailants stopped the bus. According to Mexican media reports, they robbed the passengers at gunpoint, made off with the passengers money, jewelry, cameras and passports and other ID. That woman who gave us uh, the firsthand account, uh, she sat at a table with two of the people who were victims. She also told us that initially the man tried to only hand over his wallet and that the assailant said, give me everything you've got. Now, we also talked to another gentleman he was not a victim, but he learned about the attack and tells us he has no plans of returning to the Mexican Riviera. To start with, just tell us how you heard about it and, and... A friend sent us an email. So what was, did the crews tell you anything? Did they let passengers know? No, absolutely not. So what's I, your reaction to something like this? My reaction was I would have liked to have known. Also, I noticed that when we were down there, there were soldiers walking around with automatic weapons. So. Once we got off the ship, we got right back on. So you never actually explored? You stayed on the ship? Nope, stayed on the ship. Would you do a Mexican Riviera cruise No, again? in fact, we're going to cancel two that we have for 2013. In a statement, Carnival called the incident unfortunate and disturbing and said it is working to reimburse the victims for their lost valuables. And you heard that man say he's going to cancel two cruises. That obviously is the big fear for the port and also uh, the cruise line industry. We talked to one longshoreman. He's responsible for helping to get the baggage off the ship. He says that this is really killing their business. He says that already uh, they've seen cruise lines pull out and not go to the Mexican Riviera just because of perceived violence. And now you have access actual violence and he worries that it's going to only snowball from here. But CBS's travel editor tells us this is an isolated incident that you don't normally see this kind of violence against Americans in the Mexican Riviera. We're live in Long Beach. I'm Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.